Welcome. This video is an overview of the Fortifone 475. The features and functions demonstrated will be very similar to the other Fortifone models, which are the Fortifone 175, 375, and 575. Let's review the phone buttons. To the left and the right of the phone display, we have the programmable keys. These keys can be programmed for different functions or features, such as extension appearance, twinning, or intercom paging. The top right hand corner is your message waiting indicator light that will flash when you receive new voicemail messages. Next, we have the hold button, transfer button, conference button. In the middle, we have our navigation keys. To the right of that, we have our call history button, button to back up or disconnect the call. Looking at the bottom half of the phone, we have the voicemail button, directory button. To the right, we have the headset button, redial button, and speakerphone button. At the bottom of the number keypad, we have volume buttons to reduce the volume, increase the volume, or mute the volume. Next, we're going to demonstrate an incoming call. So we see the call ringing in and the soft keys have changed to answer the call, ignore the call, which turns off the ringing or mute the ringing. We can forward the call to a different extension or reject the call, which in that situation will follow the busy call handling of the extension, which by default is set to go to voicemail. We're going to answer the call. Next, we're going to demonstrate a conference call or a three-way call. What you need to do first is press the conference button. This will allow you to call the next party. Once that second party has answered, Press the conference button a second time to connect everyone together. So now we can see the calls have connected. At this point, you now have a new option here where you can split from one of the parties or just simply terminate the call. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the transfer feature. So we're going ahead and answer the call. Next, we're going to press the transfer button. So I'm going to initiate a blind transfer. So we'll press the transfer button first, dial the number that we want to transfer the call to, and hit transfer again to complete that blind transfer. Next, I'll demonstrate a screen transfer or attended transfer. Again, we'll answer this new call. We're going to press the transfer button. Instead of pressing transfer again, which would be a blind transfer, we're going to dial the number that we want to transfer the call to, and then press the dial key. Once that party has answered, we can have a conversation with them to determine if they want to take the, the call on hold or not. If so, we complete the transfer by pressing the transfer button again, or we can end it, which in that case will allow us to resume the call connection of that first call. Next, let's review the directory. The directory will list a local directory and remote directory. The local directory are your personal contacts that you generate yourself. The remote directory is the Forta Voice main directory or company or corporate directory. So this gets downloaded from the Fortivoice phone system. 
and you can review any of these or perform a search function if you want to locate a specific name or number. And you can initiate the dialing uh, to initiate a call to any one of these contacts. And the same would apply for the local directory as well. Next, let's review the call history. So the call history keeps track of all incoming and outgoing calls made to and from the extension. This also include any missed calls. Missed calls can also be dis would also be displayed on the phone itself. So let's initiate that. So in that situation, because the call wasn't answered, it was routed to the user's personal mailbox. And we can see on the phone display that a call has been missed. Let's review the Do Not Disturb. So there's a DND &D button here. That represents the Do Not Disturb feature. Do Not Disturb by default is predefined to route to a user's personal mailbox when enabled. So this button here will, will turn on or turn off Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb activated. When Do Not Disturb is engaged, you will see that the icon turns red. There will also be a little icon on the top right hand corner indicating that no calls will be received on this desk phone and is automatically being routed to the do not disturb call handling that's in place. We can press do not disturb again to disable it. Do not disturb deactivated. And that concludes the overview of the Fortiphone 475. Thank you for watching.